it's 9 p.m. in Djibouti, it's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have uh, nine uh, positive cases and uh, 43 cured uh, concerning the pandemic of COVID-19 in Djibouti. country commit with who to universal access to vaccines and treatment uh, the pandemic of COVID-19. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Health, uh, Dr. Saleh Banuita Turab, has made uh, the briefing uh, this Saturday, April 25, uh, 2020. The epidemiological situation of the COVID-19 pandemic is as follows. 341 tests uh, carried out, uh, nine cases uh, was positive to COVID-19, uh, 633 patients are currently under treatment, 43 cases uh, uh, cured. The Ministry of Health is delighted with the fourth consecutive day of decline in the number of cases recorded as positive to COVID-19. The efforts which have uh, made this in downward uh, trend possible must imperatively be continued or even intensified. The number of the tests carried out to date in the Republic of Djibouti is 11,433 have exceeded the, the symbolic mark of 1% uh, of the total population. This is uh, a performance compared in particular with other countries in the region and in Africa. Finally, the national assessment of the situations of COVID-19 is as follows. 11,493 tests have been performed. Uh, 1,008 cases have uh, tested positive uh, for COVID-19. 373 cases have been cured uh, to have died. Uh, protect yourself, protect others stay at home, said the, health, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Health. People who arrived uh, in the country before the closure of the International Airport of Djibouti, who recognizes themselves in uh, these pictures, are asked to go to the Chester's Hospital as soon as possible to get tested. Uh, this is uh, for the for their own health. It is also a citizen's initiative to protect the entire community. As part of an elaborate plan to fight the corona epidemic, the Ministry of Islamic Affairs, Cultures and Endowments is organizing Quranic pizza and uh, supplications in the mosque of the capital at a time when the Republic of Djibouti is experiencing exceptional circumstances uh, around the world to combat uh, the new epidemic that has disrupted the human life and the Ministry of uh, is educating the community through uh, loudspeakers in the mosque and the revival. It is the Honorable Ministry on Friday evening, the blessed uh, month of Ramadan. Corresponding to February 24, 2020, the ministry organized a big episode in which the Holy Quran and supplication were sealed in the Al Hamid uh, Mosque, as the ministry had previously organized such episode in the each of the Farouk Mosque in Barwaqo neighborhood and the Salman Mosque and attend on these occasions which took place in the Abdul Hamid uh, Mosque on Friday evening which marks the first blessed uh, mass the first days of the blessed mass of Ramadan each of the executive secretary of uh, Supreme Islamic Council is Sheikh Oki Qora Hafathi and director of the in the general of the endowment offices, uh, Mr. Alami Noor Jama, and the director of Islamic Affairs, Al Shafi'i Ahmed Abdul Ghani, and the head of the Fatwa 
authority, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Shamsuddin, in addition to soft group blames and pressures. Sheikh Okiye Koraha Fadihi has the Director General of the Endowment Office has made invocations uh, to the Lord to ask him to the end of the pandemic in COVID-19, not that the ministry will continue to revive the mosque in remembrance of Allah and recite his beloved book during the Holy Mass of Ramadan. <laughs> ودن كنا يا أمة الله ودن بوحي بكنا إلهي عافية بسم الله الحمد لله ثناء لله صلاة وسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ربنا ظلمنا نفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك وتحول عافيتك وفجاءة نقمتك وجميع سخدك يا رحمن يا رحيم اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنون والجذاب ومن سيء الأسقام اللهم يا الله يا رحمن ارفع عنا البلاء والأمراض والفتن ما ظهر منها وما بدن اللهم قثنا اللهم قثنا اللهم قثنا اللهم ارفع عنا هذا الوباء اللهم ارفع عنا هذا الوباء وعن بلادنا وعن سائر بلاد المسلمين والبشرية جمعاء يا رحمن يا رحيم صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه In this uh, period of uh, containment association called Gargar of the city of Dekhil and Haru district uh, did not fail to face a gesture of self-help uh, to the most uh, diminished and uh, vulnerable families uh, within their resident neighborhood uh, a charitable gestures of granting food and the mosquito net were distributed no to more than 40 distinct people, reminding you that this uh, distribution ceremony took place on the eve of the blessed man of Ramadan. Once again, it is in, this, uh, in their objective that the association Gargar do well these kinds of activity several times uh, in the year. For the international scene, Liberia community checkpoint in Monrovia, through Monrovia and the surrounding area, residents have uh, set up checkpoints as at the entrance to their community to ensure that the people entering wash their hands and have their temperature checked. As most uh, workplaces remain closed, these uh, volunteers, mostly young people, ensure that even vehicle driver stop to wash their hands uh, with soap and water or alcohol-based uh, hand sanitizers. COVID-19 countries commit with the World Health Organization to universal access to vaccine and treatment more than uh, 190,000 deaths worldwide, almost uh, two-thirds of them in Europe, more than 2.7 million uh, cases this diagnosis. And uh, one question is in the face of the crisis, uh, will, country, will countries manage to come together around a common strategy and common means uh, this uh, Friday? Countries such as France, Germany, Italy, Spain, but also private economic players such as uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation were virtually alongside the World Health Organization during a video press conference to mobilize in favor of uh, accelerating the productions of vaccines, uh, treatment and diagnosis against COVID-19. This is a historic collaboration to accelerate the development production and equitable distribution of vaccines, diagnosis and treatment against COVID-19, explained the head of the World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. But neither China, where the first cases of the new coronavirus were announced at the end of December, nor the United States, the current epicenter of the pandemic with nearly 900,000 cases, more than 15,000 uh, 15, uh, 15, dead, which have so far been fatal, were represented. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us.